Welcome to evening prayer. That you must return to your God, maintain love and justice, and wait for your God always. Let's pray. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praise, O God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Most merciful God, I confess to you before the whole company of heaven that I have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what I have failed to do. Forgive me and free me from my sins. Heal me by your spirit and raise me to new life in Christ. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on all people of the world. Amen. Reading from Job chapter 26. Then Job answered, How you have helped one who has no power. How you have assisted the arm that has no strength. How you have counselled one who has no wisdom and given much good advice. With whose help have you uttered words and whose spirit has come forth from you? The shades below tremble, the waters and their inhabitants. Sheol is naked before God, and Abaddon has no covering. He stretches out Zaphon over the void, and hangs the earth upon nothing. He binds up the waters in his thick clouds, and the cloud is not torn open by them. He covers the face of the full moon, and spreads it over the cloud. He has described a circle on the face of the waters, at the boundary between light and darkness. The pillars of heaven tremble and are astounded at his rebuke. By his power he stilled the sea. By his understanding he struck down Rahab. By his wind the heavens were made fair. His hand pierced the fleeting ser fleeing serpent. These are indeed but the outskirts of his ways. And how small a whisper do we hear of him? But the thunder of his power, who can understand? So Job moves into praise of God, looking back and seeing what God has been doing. In the Lord, I'll be ever thankful.
reading paired with that reading from Jerry being lecturer today. Again, a multitude praising God. From Revelation chapter 7 and beginning at verse 9. After this I looked and there was a great multitude that no one could count from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures, and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshipped God, singing, Amen, blessing and honour and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white, and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one that knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ordeal. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason they are before the throne of God and worship him day and night within his temple and the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will, know, they will hunger no more, and thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the centre of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will be their guide. He will guide them to springs of the water of life, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. In the Lord, I'll be ever thankful. In the 
we continue in prayer. God of grace, hear us as through your love we pray for all who need to know your touch to this evening. We pray for those who are seeking answers tonight. Lord, have mercy. We pray for all who are out tonight, the homeless, the hungry, the struggling, the lost, those contemplating the end of their lives. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who minister to the friendless and the needy. Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who work the night shift, for docs and doctors and nurses, the police, the fire brigade, and indeed for all who work while we sleep. Lord have mercy. For those who cannot find their way out of the darkness. Lord have mercy. For the sick and the suffering. For those who are alone and afraid. Lord, have mercy for those who cannot sleep tonight, for those wrestling with anxiety and stress, Lord, have mercy. We pray for those who are grieving and for those who are facing their last night on earth. Lord, have mercy. We pray for protection on our homes, our loved ones. Lord, have mercy. In your mercy, Lord, dispel the darkness of the night. Let us sleep in peace, and at the dawn of a new day, may we waken with joy in your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Save us, Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. So into your hands we commend ourselves, for you have redeemed us, Lord God of truth.
and so may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a new day full of love and hope and grace. Amen.